For today's video, I will teach you how to send email using Node.js and Mailgun API. Let's first create the HTML boilerplate. Next, create the CSS and JavaScript file and add the file path on the HTML file. Let's now create the email form structure, code along with me to be familiarized on these HTML tags. Let's add some styles to make our email form presentable.
In JavaScript code, let's target the form. Attach a submit event listener on it. Inside the handle submit function, this is where we will call the API for sending the email. Get the two subject and message field value. Let's console log it to see if we successfully access the value. Navigate to the server folder. Run the npm in it to initialize the package JSON file. Install the Nodeman as dev dependencies to auto compile if there are changes. I will create dev script and add the nodeman command there. Let's try if the nodeman really works. As you can see the console log changes without restarting the server. Let's create our server with the use of Express. Our app will listen to port 3005. I will return a response on the route to fix this issue. Let's create an file to put the mailgun domain in API key. To get your own domain and API key, follow these steps. If you don't have an account, please sign up first. In my case, I already have an account. I will now log in my account. Open your email account to verify your Mailgun account. Access this email and verify your account. Milgan will automatically create an API which we're going to use later. Navigate to sending page follow these steps to access. 
your Mailgun domain and API key. This is the Mailgun domain. Click the eye icon and copy your API key. We're going to use the Doden package to access the environment variables. Next the Mailgun J's package and apply the environment variables. This middleware will help us to access the form body. Data passed from the client side. Let's not forget the core's package because it will help us to access the API from the client side. Let's start creating the POST API to send the email. We're going to access the form value using the request body. Follow this object format that we will pass later on Mailgun method. Let's console log to test if it's working. I will use Postman to test our API. I will pass a test data. It's undefined because we need to add the content type header. And now it works. Let's proceed using the Mailgun functionality. Pass the email info object that we have created. Inside the callback we're going to send the email and catch if there's an error. We're going to return an object with message property and later we can show this information in the client side.
There's an error because of the missing in the from property. It's a new error and to fix this we need to register the recipient email in the Mailgun dashboard. Go to Mailgun dashboard and add the recipient email. Open your recipient mail and verify it. Refresh the page and to see it's verified. Try again the API to see if it will work. Let's check the email inbox. Let's integrate the API to our client side app. Code along with me to have the same result. Stringify your form data and don't forget the headers config. We're going to use alert method to notify our user after submitting the form. By the way you can add HTML within your message. It works. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.